Over a significant period of time, I worked closely with officials at the Sacramento Animal Shelter and have never seen an animal treated as cruelly and inhumanely as Zeus has been treated during his time at the Elk Grove Animal Shelter. Zeus was taken away from his owner. He has been in isolation in a kennel for over three months. I'm sorry, I'm a little emotional. I have two dogs at home. He doesn't get walks. He doesn't get to play or interact with any other dogs. And his harness was left on him for three months until a volunteer cut it off last week. The Elk Grove City Council has been fully aware of this. This is neglectful on their part, and this is animal abuse. I'm outraged and disgusted that city officials and employees have allowed this kind of behavior. Zeus is a little over a year old. I can't imagine the pain he is in from wearing a harness that entire time and the amount of trauma he has been put through. His owner has paid every single night that he has been in the shelter since July, and she has not been allowed to see him. Not even once. I know Zeus personally, my daughter, my dogs, and myself have all interacted with Zeus and played with him weekly at various dog parks in Elk Grove for months on end. He is a sweet, loving, and happy boy. He is not a dangerous dog, nor have I ever seen him show any signs of aggression. I'm asking for Zeus to not be euthanized and to be able to live out a full life like he deserves. For German Shepherds, it can be anywhere from 9 to 13 years, and he is only one. I am just asking for him to get to live a full life and come home to his family or go to a sanctuary. His owner has offered for him to go to a sanctuary if it will save his life. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Next up is Far, Far, Faryal Kabir, followed by Harry. Good evening, all the Al Grove members and con uh, council. My name is Ferial. You all know me well now. It is regrettable that I am here today again to talk about a regrettable events that my that proceeded within the last couple months. I'm here to ask that you allow a sanctuary to take my puppy, my Zuzu, my Zuzu. I call him GH, I call him Zeus. I've had him since seven weeks old. Mr. Hobbs, make sure you listen to me, please. I'm here to ask you to allow a sanctuary to take my puppy, Zeus. A sanctuary that he has experienced in dogs that have reactionally <sighs> passed. He want an act with society. I'm here to ask you to spare his life, please. Not for my own selfishness, which I would want him to be with me all the time, but to save his life. Either way, I miss him for the re rest of my life. Either way, I don't know if God will grant me prayers to save my beautiful Zuzu, but I hope that if my puppy Zeus meets me in the afterlife, whenever that may be, that he knows that everything I could do to save him, and I love him unconditionally, I did everything I could do to save him. I swear I would take his life if I could right now. I would replace him. I don't know if God will grant me my prayers to save my beautiful boy, but I hope that if my puppy Zeus meets me in the afterlife, as I said, I pray you will find in your hearts to allow my Zuzu to live safe place, away from the society, away from the public, not to end his life 
here and now. I'm so sorry, I just been coming from work at 5.30. Please, just listen to my plea. Mrs. Bobby saying, Alan, you have dogs, I know that. And one of your dogs passed away. This dog has been with me since he was seven weeks old. Ma'am, your time is up. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you guys. Next up, we have Harry, followed by Robin. Good evening, Mayor Allen, council members. My name is Harish Manchanda. I'm an Elgov resident. I'm the owner of two dogs, two golden retriever dogs. And I'm here in support of Faryal Kabir to request you guys to spare the life of small dog, Zeus, that I have personally played with at the dog park almost every day for more than six months. Never found him to be aggressive. Yes, a little different from my own dogs, golden retrievers, which are, everybody knows. Uh, he's a German shepherd, protective of his owner. The first time ever when I saw him and I went to say hi to Faryal, he came in between. He wouldn't let me go close to the owner. I mean, I did something, I was trying to be in her space, so he was being protective of the owner. So I'm very confident to say that something that we humans do to kind of aggravate, bring that behavior in them to so they become more protective of their owners. I never found him to be very aggressive, played with him every day, fed him with their own hands, played with him, chased him, good over six months. And I'm a first time dog owner. I used to be scared of dogs a year ago. Now I, I if you ask me, was he vicious, dangerous, trying to hurt me? Never. To see such a harsh punishment for a dog who has been under animal control um, for more than two, three months now, it's, it's very heartbreaking to know. So that's my only sincere request to, for, for when a person like me who was scared of dogs a year ago, I could be playing with him, happy with him. He's not even, he's never bit bit me, I fed him with my own hands, and he's played well with my two dogs. And people would come up to me and say, you, you know, your dogs are very loving, this, that, everything, but in a moment, my golden retrievers would go home with you. They're not guard dogs. They're very happy, uh, kind, but Zeus is, is protective of his owner. Because that's his, in his DNA, he's a German shepherd dog. And I, I say this after hearing all these things from experienced dog owners that I meet in the dog park every day. So to put an end to a life, to put uh, uh, an end to the life of a, a dog um, who is not aggressive for, who would come and bite somebody or kill somebody or, or cause such a grave uh, um, problem for the society is really not fitting well in the whole picture here. So my, my whole request here is to please reconsider it and see if his life could be spared. I mean, there are so many other alternatives that are available out there. Maybe some, some consideration can be made, made and his life can be spared. Thank you all for your time. Thank you, sir. Next up is Robin, followed by Juan Portillo. Hi, my name is Robin. It's a pleasure to be here. I um, I'm from Rockland, Placer County. I have been a GS owner my entire life. I had a golden that passed away 16, at 16 years, but um, I don't know this family. I, I'm one of those people who just did my research. I've watched every video. I was, oh my gosh, when he bit the police officer, um, everybody seemed to be nice. But what I do know is that the owner didn't know how to handle a German Shepherd. That Zeus became, he is a big loving dog. I've watched all his videos when he was a puppy, all of his pictures. Um, and that he didn't, she didn't know his weight. I could, we could all see, I, I know that any police officer who's a canine handler knows that that leash should never have been given to her to put on that dog in the first place. It was too long, he's a big dog, and he was also fearful. We also know that there isn't a dog on earth that can't smell the dog's pound, the pound truck, and get a little nervous. He was scared, he was frightened, 
He has displayed all kinds of wonderful relationships at the dog park and with other people, and this is a first. He was in a lose-lose situation. He nipped somebody. The owner didn't have control over him. He shouldn't have got out. I have a very aggressive German Shepherd. I take very good control over her. You can ask the Rockland Police Department. You know, I am on top of my dogs. I've had Gabby's from the Placer County Sheriff's. I've raised her Rottweiler puppies. I know how dangerous a dog can be and how dangerous dog bites can be. I am asking to spare Zeus. It is not the dog. A, do a German Shepherd coming after somebody and attacking them isn't just going to bite you and go off. A German Shepherd, if it's going to attack you, that German Shepherd is going to stay on you. That dog almost immediately knew what he did was wrong. And I will take this dog and train this dog and pay the thousands of dollars, but I won't send it to two weeks and have somebody train it back. I can train him. I will have him with the best trainers. The owner of Ben's Barket Place said the same thing. We've all watched these videos. I know German Shepherds. I rescued the one I have from, you know, Sacramento Rescue, uh, Sex, um, oh gosh, I'm getting old. It's going to be my 60th birthday this month. For crying out loud, I can't remember. Shep Heroes, thank you. So I'm begging all of you. I'm looking at all these faces. I know the wonderful reputation of the Elk Grove Police Department. This was a lose-lose situation. I watched the video. Nobody saw the police officer that close and having it. She sh no dog, no German Shepherd should ever be on a long leash like that. You know, he's not, it's not the dog's fault. She is willing. I've spoken to her candidly. I am a truth talker. I'm an empath. I have. I can't sleep since I first discovered this. The fact that that dog is in quarantine and has been in that kennel for that many months, and that's wrong. It's inhumane. We have an opportunity here to take a dog like Zeus and put them in a situation where we can see success. And I beg all of you to take that consideration. Thank you. Robin, would you take uh, Ms. Kabir back her sign? Oh, thank I you. That was a sign. It. Thank you. Uh, next up is Juan Portillo. Portillo. Hi. Hi. Hello. Good evening. My name is Juan Portillo. I'm a local dog trainer. Um, I saw Sue's story on the news, and I felt like it's it, this is a case where I can help. Um, I've trained many dogs that owners would say are aggressive. Um, way worse than what Sue's displayed on that uh, clip that you guys saw on TV. Um, it was an unfortunate mishandling event that happened. You know, the handler didn't have full control of her dog. Um, I don't think that Sue's deserves to be euthanized. I think you guys should consider giving, giving him another chance. The reason why I'm here is in support of uh, Ferial. Um, my intent was is to help her train her dog and also for her to become a better dog handler. So if you guys can afford that opportunity uh, to her, that would be amazing. Um, I'm here begging you guys to spare his life. He's not a bad dog. Thank you. Thank you. Um, that concludes our public comments. I will say that for those that are here who may not know... Um, sort of the protocol and governance of city council meetings. Because these are public comment items, the council does not engage in any deliberation. So we just hear from the public. So I wanted to make sure that you all were aware of that. And um, for the public that may be watching, for information on um, this case, you can follow it on um, the Elk Grove Animal Services website, as well as the city's website and Elk Grove Police Department that lays out the facts the incidents, video, and any other additional information. So that will conclude um, the public comments for this evening.